Hello everyone, this is Jeff Magato and uh, welcome to week two of the EVO Flipped Learning session. In this week we're going to look at the I of the FLIP acronym, FLIP, and that stands for Intentional Content. As you saw last week, uh, there are four sort of pillars or core principles of flipping and we're going to start with um, you know, one that people pretty much get or, or, or understand fairly readily about flip learning. And as you may recall, the three benchmarks of intentional content have to do with what you prioritize or how you prioritize you know, classroom time especially, um, what you do to prepare materials or curate materials uh, for out of class and in class work, and perhaps most importantly, how you use those materials and that intentionality to uh, make your learning accessible and successful for, for all of your learners. To sort of situate that, um, there's a brief video of a, a very short four-minute example from a flipped Portuguese class here at the University of Oregon, and that will you know sort of set out some hopefully interesting ideas. Um, the fact that it makes use of a lot of technology you shouldn't be too impressed with. Um, uh, I would pay attention to the end of the video actually myself. Um, one of the tools that's used in that video quite a bit is something called H5P. It's one of these in video quiz tools so it lets you mark up or um, embed vid questions inside of videos and you're going to see it working inside of Anvil. The, the software that we're using for our, our session materials. And um, you'll get a sense of how what that looks like if you haven't seen it before, and maybe if you've used other tools, um, a sense of how this one is similar or different. This one's free and open source and works with um, WordPress and Moodle, as well as uh, what you see in Anvil. Um, as always, we want you then to reflect on what you've been learning about, and that's the purpose of our discussion board, uh, which will have some questions around curation, intentionality, tools, and uh, screencasting. I also wanted to give you some thoughts and ideas about other kinds of sort of activation or prior to class tools that you might be interested in. And again, both of one of these is a pronunciation tool, uh, and the other is the voice boards built inside of Anvil, which works very similar to what we saw um, with our opening uh, flip grids. And then I oh the questions for the week are, you can see on the screen now, but I also want to call attention to uh, 2.2 or where you can see um, how Kevin and Martha, my fellow moderators, curate and uh, um, describe you know, what, what they do to, to, to sort of um, reflect on what it means to be a flip learner. And um, finally, you might be interested in screencasting. Uh, screencasting, as you may be aware, basically lets you turn your computer screen into a tape recorder or video recorder and with different kinds of tools um, I think I have five or six listed for you you can do what I'm doing right now which is record yourself while giving a slideshow and they range from the simple and the free to the complex and the expensive but I think all of them try to do something that um, is very important in flipped learning and that's making learning more visible to learners and giving them control over the speed and the, the amount of information that, that they encounter at once. And lastly, our guest uh, next Sunday on the 28th will be Nick Peachy. Nick is a very well-known author uh, based in the UK, uh, but he's taught all over the world and travels all over the world. And he's going to talk to us about his impressions of flipped learning and how they articulate with some of his writings on digital technology, teacher training, and, and so on. So I hope you have a really good week, and as always, don't hesitate to let us know how things are going in Google+. All the best.